For the past five months, the husband of a missing Chula Vista mother has chosen to remain quiet. But now, thanks to legal paperwork he filed on Monday, Fox 5 is now learning some of his reactions to investigators and to media reports. Our Jeff McAdam joins us live from Chula Vista Police Headquarters with that story. Jeff, what did you find out? Hey, Maria. Yeah, well, police went to Larry Mayate's home uh, last month, confiscated all of his guns, and in response to that, Larry has now filed this 80-page legal document. In this document, he claims that in order to search his home, Chula Vista police found him and pulled him over on I-5 out of their jurisdiction. He writes, they refused to allow me to go home with my children and parents during the search and told me that they will arrest me if I go home that very moment. They also refused to allow me to speak to my lawyers. So I was detained for six hours, was not allowed to go home until midnight. The peace officers searched my house, broke and destroyed bedroom doors and walls, and left our house in a chaotic, disturbing state that horrified my children, parents, and me. To complicate matters, my wife's family and their attorney have been appearing on television, uttering statements implying highly suggesting um, to the public and the media that I am to be blamed for her six month long disappearance and I have fully cooperated with police in this investigation. Chula Vista Police Department spokesperson said there was no indication of foul play. That search warrant was served back on May 7th when police said they believed Larry was in possession of illegal assault weapons and unregistered firearms. Larry points out uh, this uh, recent San Diego judge's decision to reverse a ban on assault rifles as part of a reason he should now get his back. He says he needs his guns to protect his family because they've been getting threats these past few months. His wife, Maya Mayate, went missing from their home that she shared with Larry and their three kids back on January 7th. Maya side of the family have done dozens of searches. They point out that Larry has not helped out. It is still classified a missing persons case, but this story has gone worldwide. Interest in this case, incredible, to the point now where Chula Vista police are now doing updates every two weeks because they know there is such an interest from the general public in this case. We expect their latest update to come here this afternoon within the next hour or two. No word yet on whether they plan to address uh, Larry's recent litigation. We'll bring you the latest, what we find out when we see it today at 4 and 5. Maria. All right, sounds good, Jeff. Thank you so much.